Hello and welcome to this video dedicated to Paint 3D, a fantastic free application for Windows that allows you to make 2D sketches and 3D objects in an easy to use interface. In just 11 minutes, we will see everything you need to know to use this software. If you own a Windows computer, Paint 3D is installed already unless you run Windows 11. In this case, you can download and get Paint 3D for free from the Microsoft Store. Once you launch Paint 3D, you start with its welcome screen with three main options. New to start with a new empty project, Open to browse for an existing one, and Paste to paste an image you have just copied. Let's go for a new project. The interface is simple and straight, with the main preview that you can zoom in or out with your mouse wheel. On top, you get all the tools and features within Paint 3D, and on the right, a sidebar showing all the options for the current tool selected. If you can't see it, Make sure to disable the Compact view from the Settings section. On Paint 3D, you can work with 2D shapes laying on a canvas background and with 3D objects completely independent from it. Let's start with 2D. You can work on a blank white canvas or go to Menu Open to browse and import an image. This will become your new canvas, so you may not be able to import other images. Enable the Crop tool to refine the canvas or image size by dragging from the white nodes. On the right, you also get several options for more precise adjustments that you can undo with Ctrl and Z if necessary. Click on Done to apply your modifications. With the Select tool, you can click and drag on the image or canvas to select a specific portion of it and use Ctrl and X, C, and V to cut, copy, or paste. Pasted regions are new independent objects that you can edit with the Select tool. Click and drag to move around and use the white nodes to resize, maintaining the aspect ratio with the Shift key. You can also drag the top node to rotate and use the backspace key to delete the object instead. Click elsewhere to apply. This is a permanent action where the 2D object becomes a seamless part of the canvas, no longer selectable. You may undo your modifications with Ctrl and Z to retry. Now let's see how to draw in 2D. Enable brushes on top to draw freehand on the canvas by clicking and dragging. On the right, set the brush type, thickness, transparency, and proper color to use. These brush strokes are indeed part of the canvas not selectable at all. Go to 2D Shapes to drop lines, curves, and regular objects onto your canvas by clicking once or clicking and dragging for precise sizing. At this point, you can move, size, or rotate, and also drag internal handles to customize any shape when applicable. You can also use the Paste button to apply the current shape and work directly on its copy. On the right, adjust filling and stroke color, thickness, opacity. Apply rotation by 90 degrees or flip. You can also import ready-made 2D objects and textures by going to Stickers. Check these out. All these 2D objects, whether drawn or imported, become part of the canvas permanently unless you transform these into 3D objects or use the Magic Select tool. If you have your 2D object selected, you can go to Make 3D on the right to transform it to a 3D object independent from the canvas. This way you can select and edit it anytime with the Select tool. These objects, despite transformed, won't have any extrusion at all, 
and can be saved as stickers with Make Sticker on the right. If the 2D object is already part of the canvas, you can extract it with the Magic Select tool. Enable it, define the area including your 2D shape, and click on Next to auto-define the shape contours. Adjust these if needed, and keep Auto-Fill Background enabled to fill the vacant spot of the canvas after the extraction. The shape you get is a new 3D object you can manage and edit. You can move to a 3D environment by enabling 3D View at the top. Hold down the right click and drag to orbit around, and hold down the Alt key to pan instead. You can also import ready-made 3D models from the 3D library at the top. Browse and click on any to import it, completely independent from the canvas. You can manage and edit any 3D object with the Select tool. Click on it to select it and move and rotate it along all three axes. Use the Z-axis position node to set the distance between the item and the canvas, useful in case the object gets overlapped. When scaling the object, make sure that this is either perpendicular or parallel to the scaling direction to avoid deformities. Now let's see how to draw in 3D. Switch to 3D shapes at the top and choose whether to drop regular shapes with 3D object or ready-made templates with 3D model by clicking once or clicking and dragging to set their size precisely. With 3D Doodle, you can draw 3D objects freehand. With Tube Brush, you craft 3D conductors with a defined tube shape, thickness, brush options, and color on the right. Tubes have a maximum length, complete with handles, to customize their shape. As you click elsewhere, you apply the shape permanently. You can also make multiple brushes before applying to manage and edit these as a unique brush. With soft or sharp edge, drop any custom shape by drawing its 2D contour. Click once to drop vertices and straight sides, or click and drag to define curves freehand. The object is rendered softer or sharper according to its type. To refine the appearance of any 3D object, select it with the Select tool and set Color, Rotate by 90 degrees or Flip on the right. All 3D shapes come with a simple plain color so that you can draw with any 2D brush or drop 2D shapes onto their surface. These modifications will be permanent. To model complex shapes on Paint 3D, you have to combine multiple 3D objects by moving and overlapping these so that you enable the Select tool to select all of them with the Control key down and click on Group on the right to manage these as a single object. You can always retrieve the original objects with Ungroup. Enable text to add 2D or 3D titles. Click and drag to define the text area and type in, adjusting font, size, color, and shape options on the right. 2D text will be part of the canvas, whereas 3D text remains independent with 3D editing options, including 3-axis rotation and extrusion. If you don't see text, make sure to check its Z-axis position in relation to other objects. Head to the Effects tab to change the direction of the lights and switch to Canvas to hide or show the canvas with all of its 2D drawings laying on it. Now let's see how to save and export your work. Go to Menu Save As. Opt for a Paint 3D project to save the status of your work to edit it later in a local folder you can find in the video description.
Whereas, choose image to render as a 2D image or 3D model to export all as a 3D object. Go to Video to export your work as a video file with cool animations. Choose the animation type, fixed speed, and the number of loops. Set the video options such as format, size, frame rate, and quality, and go to Adjust Angle and Framing to set a specific aspect ratio for your video. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and do not forget to visit our YouTube channel and our website to get more tips and other free outstanding guides to learn more about design and image editing.